Hi, Dr. Aviva here with Natural Solutions. So I was having this amazing dream last night that I was about to meet the Dalai Lama, and all of a sudden I feel this tickling on my arm, like tick, 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 tick. And it woke me up, and I looked, and there was a tick crawling on me. Now my husband walks the dogs right before bed, and he often brings ticks back on him because we live in the country, and he walks them in the grass. I jokingly call him a tick magnet, you know, not a chick magnet. And uh, anyway, so I figured that's how it got from him to me. And so I simply woke up, picked it off, and threw it in the toilet and flushed it away so it would never come back to haunt any of us. I really wanted to talk with you about Lyme disease, though, because it's really the most devastating condition I see and treat in my practice, and the rates of it are going up astronomically. Just in New England, in the past few years, we've seen over a 300% increase in cases and now cases are appearing in places where people never saw them before in different parts of the country. So many of you write to me and say, well, Dr. Aviva, I got a tick and do I need an antibiotic? I'm trying to avoid unnecessary antibiotics. So I want to talk with you today about what to do if you do get a tick on you and when you need an antibiotic. So first, what to do if you get a tick on you? Well, if you're in the situation that I was in and you just see it walking on you, it can't have trans transmitted Lyme disease. It can't do that until it bites into you. So you simply take it and discard it like I did. And I do recommend something like flushing it down the toilet because if you just throw it in the trash or just try to kill it with your fingers, they're pretty hard to, to kill. So um, get rid of it and make sure it can't come back to get you. If, however, the tick has bitten into you so you see its head under the skin or you don't see the head and then its little legs are wiggling, I know, really gross, right? Then you have to remove it. The best way to remove a tick is to do it with either small tweezers or little forceps. And if you don't have those, use a toilet tissue uh, or a little piece of paper towel. Grasp the tick at the base where it's attached into you and pull straight up. Don't crush the tick and don't try to twist it out of you. And don't try to do anything like put uh, an, a, a blown out lip match or anything on the end of it because what that does is it causes the tick to startle and release its saliva into your body and that's where the Lyme disease is housed. So pull it straight out and then discard it. If a little bit of the head gets left in your skin, don't worry about that. The body will expel that over time on its own. Then you want to clean the area and also wash your hands as well if you've done the removal. And then watch the area for about a month because it takes it can take up to a month for the Lyme disease rash to show up. Now, if the tick's been bitten into you for less than 24 hours, technically you do not need to get on an antibiotic because it takes 24 to 72 hours for the Lyme tick to release that into your system. I have been more precautious than that and have at times when I don't know how long the tick has been on someone prescribed an antibiotic. And you know me, sister, I am the queen of don't use unnecessary antibiotics. It's like I write about it all the time. So if I'm saying it, I really mean it. This is one of those times with Lyme disease or question of Lyme disease that you do want to treat with an antibiotic. If the tick is known to be on you for 24 hours or more, then it's a definite yes for treating with an antibiotic. And usually that's just one dose of doxycycline if you're not pregnant, not breastfeeding, or if your child is over eight years old. If you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or your child is under eight years old, then go ahead and see your primary doctor or ob or pediatrician and get the appropriate medication course prescribed for you. If you have the bullseye rash, which only about 50 or so percent of people do when they get Lyme disease, or, and most people never see the tick, or if you have any flu-like symptoms that you can't attribute to have been exposed to someone with a cold or something like that, and you live anywhere there, there could be Lyme disease, and the symptoms include fever, headaches, aches and pains, chills, joint pain, joint pain especially that it migrates from one joint to another, that could mean that you have gotten Lyme disease, in which case I recommend a full month of antibiotic treatment. No joke, I'm for real here. If you're concerned about your gut, take, which you should be, take a probiotic for the whole month and then for about three to six months after, stay on a probiotic. And if you have to be on antibiotics for long term, you can also consider some mitochondrial support. Mitochondria are those little powerhouses of the cells you learned about in high school or college biology. 
and those can be impacted by long-term antibiotic use. So mitochondrial support includes things like CoQ10, L-carnitine, and D-ribose that you can take to help offset any damage there. Okay, so less than 24 hours or the tick's just crawling on you, very little to no risk of Lyme disease. If it's just been crawling on you, no risk at all. 24 to 72 hours, you find the tick, no symptoms whatsoever, one, one dose of doxycycline or the appropriate antibiotic if you're pregnant, nursing, or if your child is under eight years old. And if you have any symptoms of Lyme disease, full treatment for at least a month with antibiotics. I hope this has been helpful. I want you to have a safe, happy, fun, and healthy summer and into early autumn.